Did you know that Omega produces over 700,000 watches annually, each starting at around $3,500? Molten metal pores and microscopic gears align with millimeter precision. This is how Omega crafts time itself. Before a single gear turns or a dial is polished, Omega's journey begins with raw matter pulled from the earth. Luxury doesn't start in a boutique window, it starts in the forge. Blocks of stainless steel arrive at their facilities, chosen not just for strength, but for their ability to resist corrosion for decades. This isn't ordinary steel, it's engineered to shine, to endure, to carry the weight of precision. Then comes Sedna Gold, Omega's own proprietary rose gold alloy. It fuses copper, palladium, and pure gold into a formula that resists fading, locking in its fiery tone for generations. While traditional gold dulls, Sedna remains eternal. And beyond metal, Omega turns to advanced ceramics, fired at temperatures exceeding 1,200 degrees Celsius, creating bezels and cases virtually impervious to scratches. Every choice here is deliberate, durability, aesthetics, and performance intertwined. Before the first screw is cut or jewel is set, the DNA of an Omega watch is already forged from materials designed to withstand time itself. Now the transformation begins, where blocks of metal find form. The watch case is way more than a shell, it's a fortress for precision. At Omega, that fortress begins as a simple block of steel, gold, or ceramic. From there, extreme forces are unleashed. High-pressure stamping slams thousands of tons onto the metal, compressing it into a rough outline of the case. Each strike pushes the material closer to its final destiny. But strength without accuracy means nothing. Enter precision CNC machining. These robotic cutters carve grooves, mill edges, and hollow cavities with measurements so exact, even a human hair looks enormous by comparison. Tolerances are measured in microns, ensuring a seamless fit for every future component. Finally, lasers cut where traditional tools would falter, engraving reference points, drilling invisible holes, and etching designs that machines alone could never replicate. Slowly, the raw block is sculpted into elegance, edges softened, contours refined. By the end, what was once lifeless material now carries the first recognizable silhouette of an Omega timepiece, resilient and ready to house history. Inside that polished shell lies time's beating mechanical heart. The case may define the body, but the movement defines the soul. At Omega, that soul is the coaxial escapement, one of the most important horological innovations of the last century. In sterile, dust-free rooms, watchmakers handle components smaller than a grain of rice. Wheels, gears, and jewels are machined to tolerances thinner than a single human hair. Even the slightest imperfection could stop the heartbeat of the watch. The coaxial system itself is revolutionary. Unlike traditional Swiss lever escapements, it reduces friction between moving parts. Less friction means less wear, longer service intervals, and more consistent accuracy over time. In other words, this isn't just engineering, it's endurance built into motion. Every microscopic component is carefully aligned, locked into place, and tested under magnification. It's a process that combines robotics with human mastery, precision with patience. When the final gear clicks into rhythm, the movement begins to breathe. From silence comes a steady pulse, a mechanical heartbeat destined to measure time for decades. With the heartbeat now secured, attention turns outward to beauty and identity. Because if the movement is the soul, the dial is the face, the first thing the world sees when an Omega watch slips from its box. Here, engineering meets artistry with breathtaking precision. Enamel dials are fired in blazing kilns, layer by layer, until their colors radiate with depth. Applied indexes, those tiny hour markers, are cut, polished, and carefully placed by hand. 
and each one must align perfectly because even the slightest misstep disrupts the balance of symmetry. Then come the hands crafted with razor thin profiles yet strong enough to endure decades of motion. Their surfaces are polished until they catch light at every angle, transforming a practical tool into a statement of elegance. Technology quietly underpins this beauty. Special luminous coatings are applied, ensuring visibility in darkness without compromising design. Microscopic printing adds detail invisible to the naked eye, but critical for authenticity. In these moments, Omega transforms raw materials into personality. The dial and hands won't just be telling time, they define identity. But even the most perfect parts rely on human hands to unite them. Inside Omega's workshops, silence is sacred. White-gloved watchmakers sit beneath magnification lamps, movements and cases laid out before them like surgical instruments. Here, robotics can only go so far. The final act belongs to human precision. With tweezers, a watchmaker lowers the completed movement into its waiting case. It's a moment of tension, months of work, now balanced on a few millimeters of alignment. One slip, one particle of dust, and the watch could be compromised beyond repair. Sure, robotic arms assist in applying uniform pressure, screwing down case backs, and sealing components, but judgment, touch, and patience are irreplaceable. Every gear must sit true, every jewel in its exact place. The fusion of hand and machine creates what neither could achieve alone. It's this step where Omega's craftsmanship truly reveals itself. Thousands of components, dozens of processes, countless hours all converging into a single unified mechanism. In this fragile, deliberate union, raw materials, design, and innovation finally become a living watch. Even after all that, no masterpiece is trusted blindly. Perfection on the workbench is worthless if it fails in the real world. That's why every Omega is pushed to extremes few objects ever endure. First comes anti-magnetism. In a modern world saturated with magnetic fields from phones, speakers, even airport scanners, ordinary watches falter. Omega's answer? Testing movements against 15,000 Gauss, a force strong enough to scramble most timepieces instantly. Only coaxial technology keeps the seconds ticking with defiance. Then the gauntlet continues. Watches are submerged, pressurized, and forced to prove their water resistance in chambers simulating depths far beyond casual swimming. Next, shock tests mimic sudden impacts, drops, or the jolt of an athlete's wrist. Precision isn't optional, it's demanded. Finally, certification. Each watch undergoes METAS testing, the Swiss industry's most rigorous standard. Accuracy, durability, resistance, all measured, logged, and verified. Only when it passes every trial does an Omega earn the title of Master Chronometer. In these tests, legends are separated from imitators. Endurance is proven, trust is earned, and time itself is conquered. After surviving every trial, the final chapter adds elegance and immortality. At Omega, the finishing process transforms mechanical brilliance into wearable art. Polishing begins first. Cases and bracelets are buffed with diamond pastes until every surface gleams like a mirror. Sharp lines are preserved, curves softened, and the interplay of brushed and polished textures creates depth that catches the eye at every angle. Next comes engraving. Serial numbers, brand markings, and decorative motifs are etched with laser precision. These tiny details serve both as art and as security, ensuring authenticity against countless imitations. Bracelet crafting follows. Links are shaped, assembled, and finished so they move with effortless fluidity on the wrist. The comfort must equal the beauty. Finally, every watch undergoes a last inspection. Under harsh lights, specialists scrutinize every surface. No flaws, no exceptions. From Earth's raw metals to timeless icons, is Omega truly worth its legendary price or just a myth? Let us know in the comments.